this experiment, we shall demonstrate half wave and full wave rectification using an oscilloscope. For this experiment, we require the cathode ray oscilloscope. A very low AC voltage supply using a transformer. The full wave rectifier bridge using four diodes. The half wave rectifier circuit using one diode. Two electrolytic capacitors. And finally, for a further investigation, we are going to use a dry cell. We shall start our experiment by measuring a DC voltage using the oscilloscope. We first switch on the oscilloscope. And we then adjust the time base so that we see a straight line. Using the leads connected to the input terminals of the oscilloscope, we then connect the two wires across this cell and we see the trays to jump down or up depending on the connections. Here we note that the trays jumps up by 0.8 division. It is set at 2 volts, so the cell voltage is 1.6 volts. We shall now demonstrate half wave rectification. For this experiment, we require the half wave rectification circuit, the usual transformer, and the cathode ray oscilloscope. This is the circuit comprising one diode, the low voltage AC supply, and the resistive load on the other side. We start the experiment by switching on the circuit and we connect the input leads to the AC part of the circuit. We adjust the time base and we note the input voltage. The time base is set at 5 milliseconds per division. 2 volts per division is the amplification. This is the input waveform. It's a sinusoidal waveform. And from the information, we can find out the frequency of the supply, which is 50 Hz. And we can also get the RMS voltage for this supply to be 4 volts. We then connect the leads across the load, so it's on the other side of the circuit. And we know that the trace now has changed, and this is half-wave rectification. In half-wave rectification, we note that part of the wave is chopped off. When we reverse the connection, we see the peaks on the other side. This diagram shows clearly that the sine wave has been chopped off. Part of it is chopped off. We now use a 47 microfarad capacitor and we connect it in parallel to the load. And we see that the trace changes to a ripple voltage. We call this the ripple. We change the capacitor by removing it first and we then connect another capacitor which is a 470 microfarad capacitor it's a bigger capacitor we connect it again in parallel to the load and we know that the ripple is smaller so a bigger capacitor gives a smaller ripple the graph shows clearly in red the ripple voltage now we shall demonstrate full wave rectification. 
For the full wave rectification we require this circuit, having 4 diodes, a transformer, and a cathode ray oscilloscope. The circuit shows clearly the connection of the 4 diodes, the AC connections, and the output DC voltage. We start the experiment by switching on the circuit and connect the input leads first to the AC part and we shall see the usual sine wave, a sinusoidal waveform. Now we connect the leads across the load to see the output and we see that the sine wave turns into peaks. When we reverse the connections, we invert the trace. Now this shows clearly that the negative peaks have been restored in this circuit. This is full wave. Now we connect a 47 microfarad capacitor in parallel to the load. and we note the ripple. So this is the ripple on the screen. We remove the capacitor and change it with another one, 470 microfarad capacitor. We also connect it in parallel to the load and we note another ripple A ripple which is smaller than the previous one because we have connected a bigger capacitor. The diagram shows clearly the ripple between the peaks in red. This is now a comparison between the full wave and the half wave ripples and we can see clearly that the full wave ripple is smaller than the half wave ripple.